Messi, dead? Career over? Wait, what? Witness the five unbelievable moments when Lionel Messi, the football magician, the star we all adore, came this close to losing everything. Throwback to the World Cup failure for Argentina when Lionel Messi, the footballing deity for Barcelona, reduced to a mere mortal on the World Cup stage. Remember when Vincent Eniema, the unstoppable Nigerian goalkeeper, turned into a bona fide superhero right there on the pitch? Leaping, diving, and blocking Messi's every move like he's got a cape and a big S on his chest. Oh yeah, it happened, and it was just the beginning of a whirlwind of jaw-dropping events. Let's rewind a bit to the time when Messi and his Argentine squad were riding high on dreams and hungry for glory. They had their eyes set on the golden trophy, their hearts beating for victory, but oh boy, what happened next was a shocker. Messi, the legend who rocked the world with Barcelona, found himself on unfamiliar grounds. Imagine a warrior without his sword, a king without his crown. The magic just wasn't there for his country. It was like watching a superhero lose his powers right in the heat of battle. And the moment that rocked the universe. The infamous 4-0 blowout by Germany. This wasn't just any old match, it was a catastrophe, a demolition, a total wipeout. Messi's every run, every dazzling attempt, every glimmer of hope was crushed by the unbreakable, unbeatable, immovable wall of Orn Friedrich and Per Mertesacker. It was like watching a speeding train hit a mountain. Messi charged, he sprinted, he battled, but they stood tall, firm, and defiant. No way through, no chance, no mercy. And that image, that image of Messi defeated, crushed. Staring up at the scoreboard with disbelief in his eyes? That's one that's burned into the minds and hearts of fans everywhere. Was this the same Lionel Messi we once knew? Was this the end of an era? This wasn't a one-time shocker, it was a recurring nightmare, a loop of doom, an unbreakable curse that haunted Messi. World Cup after World Cup, was it fate? Bad luck? A cruel twist of destiny? We may never know, but one thing's for sure this was Messi hitting rock bottom, oh, World Cup failures got you down. Let's journey through Messi's childhood. Though playing among children his age, Messi was always the smallest. But this was more than just being a late bloomer, this was a medical condition known as growth hormone deficiency, GHD. A disorder that could have put a full stop to his ambitions. Young Messi, just 12 years old, faced a battle that went far beyond the football pitches he adored. With this growth disorder as his daily enemy, he had to endure nightly injections of growth hormones into his leg. It wasn't a game, it was a fight for his future. And the cost? The treatment was expensive, the weight of it heavy, the burden almost too much for his family to bear. But just when all hope seemed lost, in a twist that seemed straight from a Hollywood movie, FC Barcelona entered the scene. They saw the immense talent hidden within this small boy, and they didn't hesitate. Offering Messi a spot on their team at just 13 years old, they went even further, sponsoring his medical treatment and ensuring that nothing would stand in the way of his destiny. What are we seeing next? This is Argentina, who has just seized the World Cup, and, in 2022, and the streets are lined with fans, their cheers echoing through the night. Flags are waving, and euphoria is in the air as the nation's heroes are riding high on the roof of a bus. There's Messi, holding the trophy between his legs, a smile as wide as the pitch on his face. Rodrigo de Paul, Leandro Perez, Angel Di Maria, and Nicolas Otamendi are all there, basking in the glory. The victory is sweet, the triumph exhilarating. But wait! What's that ahead? An overhead cable and it's coming fast. The joyous scenes are about to turn into something terrifying. In an instant, that must have felt like an eternity, all five players have to duck, and I mean really duck. They're almost caught out, the danger so close that Peds' baseball cap is taken clean off his head. But here's the thing about these champions, they don't flinch. Not in the game, not on that bus. Despite the incident being potentially serious, the parade carried on as if nothing had happened. Messi and his teammates continued to wave, to smile, to be the heroes Argentina needed them to be. 
Later, Messi posed for a picture in bed with the trophy, and it's as if that close call never even happened. A blink of an eye, a heartbeat, and they were back to celebrating. A brush with overhead cables wasn't enough. Have a look at the jeers and boos of Parc des Princes. Messi's numbers were falling, and people started to notice. His goals went from 1 every 138 minutes to 1 every 210 minutes. Even his fans began to worry after a game against Lyon, where he gave the ball away 26 times. Some were calling it a disgrace. Messi was struggling, and everyone was watching. Off the field, things weren't going well either. People were talking, and Messi didn't seem sure about staying in Paris. Other clubs were interested, and PSG was losing games. The team was falling apart, and Messi was caught in the middle. The fans were starting to lose patience. Messi had been their hero, but now they were frustrated. They expected a lot from him, and he wasn't delivering. This was a hard time for Messi, one of the most challenging in his amazing career. The guy who seemed like he could do anything was now having a tough time. Do you think PSG drama was something? No, 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 see this match where Messi nearly met his maker. Barcelona vs Juventus, 2017. The stage was set, the fans were ready, and the world was watching. Two giants clashing, the anticipation at a fever pitch. Everyone was waiting for that messy magic, that flash of brilliance. But what they got instead was a moment that made heart stop. The ball was up, and Messi, being Messi, went for it. Up he went, that familiar leap, eyes on the prize. But then, something nobody saw coming, a terrible twist, an awkward landing. Crash! The stadium fell silent, time stood still, and a chilling fear settled in. Messi was down, and this was not just a stumble. Something was very, very wrong. As the medical team rushed in, fans started whispering prayers. And a report from the medical staff revealed a shocking fact. Messi had come within 2.7 millimeters of a serious neck injury. An injury that could have ended not just his career, but his life. But here's the thing about Messi, he's not just a player, he's a fighter. He's faced tough times before, and he's always come through. This was just another challenge, another test, and you better believe he passed it. If this doesn't make you believe in miracles, I don't know what will. As we end this video, we reflect on the many facets of Lionel Messi's journey. And what do we get from it? That heroes are human too, that legends can falter, and that life's game is played on the edge. Champions!